Hello guys, so today I'll be showing a quick demo of um, something myself and my friend were working on this week and it's called Ravens Progressive Matrices. Uh, the basic idea of this is uh, simply, uh, so we have some problems and the idea is to look at the images and predict what the answer should be. So in this case, as you can see, we have ABC. They all they look the same, the F looks the same. At least this is how I look at it and solve the problem. And uh, for C1, the answer should be three because this looks exactly the same as the other ones. Um, so let's look at C5. Uh, as you can see, we have ABC. You could just count the number of, say, balls on the stars. Uh, we have one, two, three. Here we have two, three, four. Here we have three, four and the guess here should be 5. So, we came up with a program to solve this problem. Uh, so I'm just going to run the program, compare the answers and see uh, which ones are right and which ones are wrong. I haven't looked at everything, I'm pretty sure it's not going to get everything right, but we're just going to run it and look over how it works and uh, I'll have the code up on GitHub and you can take a look. Suggest so changes, we're still working on this, trying to make it as good as possible. So uh, for C1, which I already showed, the answer should be 3. So if we scroll all the way down, and basically the way the answers are represented is in, uh, in an other where it, it thinks, you know, it ranks them according to how it thinks the answer should be. So as you can see, it gets the answer right. It says 3, and the next guess is 6, which is kind of close. And the next guess here is 1 which does seem close, uh, next guess is 7, but basically it gets the answer right. So let's take a look at C2. Uh, for C2, as you can see, um, the answer to this should be 4. Uh, so let's take a look. And in C2, the answer it gives is actually 4. So it does get the answer right. Uh, next, let's take a look at 3. So I think I did look at 3, and I think it missed this one. So for 3, uh, the answer should be 4. Now, there's a very, like, there's a similarity between 4 and 6. Uh, so I thought this was going to throw it off, but I'm not actually sure what throws the program off. Uh, but I think I did test, and for C3, it did get it wrong. So for C3, uh, it thinks the answer is 7, which does not make so much sense. And the next best guess is 2, which I can kind of see. Uh, but the next, yeah, as you can see, 4 is kind of really far away. Um, it actually suggests 3 before 4. So this, this, the next change should actually solve problems like this where it misses it completely wrong. So uh, let's take a look at 4. For number 4, you can see just the number of ring kind of doubles by whatever separation we have here. Uh, so we have one, two, three there. We have two, I'm guessing four, and here eight. And here, this is three. Not sure how many. Oh, this is three, six, and I'm guessing nine. So for this, the answer should be eight. So if we look at C4, uh, the answer is eight. It does get the answer right. The next guess is seven, which is pretty close. And the next one is three, which is a nice uh, ranking, but it does get the answer correctly. Uh, now let's look at C5. I already went through this and the answer should be 3. So for C5, uh, the answer is 3. Let's get it right. And the next guess is 8. Next guess is 6. Uh, so it gets some of them right, as you can see. Uh, but there are some other ones that are just completely wrong. Uh, for C6, uh, the answer should be 7. So if we take a look, it gets it wrong. However, 7 is the next best guess. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's thinking it's 3, but for whatever reason. Uh, next, let's take a look at number 7. Oh, I'm quite sure it's going to get this wrong. <laughs> so for 7, uh, the answer is 2. Uh, so if we take a look. For number seven, yep, it does miss it. Uh, the first guess is one, which kind of makes sense, as you can see. It does make sense for it to not get this right. Um, 
Well, uh, the first guess is one, the next guess is six, and then two is the next one. So, kind of close, pretty good. Uh, it's okay, eight. I'm just gonna go through everything. For, so for number eight, the answer should be four. As you can see, we have empty here. Um, so this basically increases. This uh, is just the same, and here it should decrease. So the answer should be four. That's my guess, uh, but I'll look at the answer just to be sure where the answer is actually five. <laughs> so I'm actually wrong. Oh, it makes sense, the answer is five. So let's see if this gets it right. I'm guessing no. So for number eight, uh, yeah, it gets it wrong. Uh, the Its guess is three, and next we have seven, next we have six, before we have five. So this is quite horrible <laughs> compared to the others. Uh, and let's try uh, nine. Ooh, I don't think it could get this right. Uh, for number nine, as you can see, the, the objects are actually moving. So this move, they're with each other here and they pass each other here. Same thing. So for this, the answer should be two. Uh, but let's see. So for number nine, yep, it does get it completely wrong. Well, not so bad actually. First guess is eight, which makes sense, kind of. The next one is three, and then we have seven, which is really bad. And then we have four, horrible. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go to number 10. So for 10, uh, the answer to this is actually 7, uh, 7 or 2, I'm actually not sure, well yeah, 7. So for number 10, um, I'm guessing this is wrong too, yep. It is wrong, uh, because it guesses 2, which sort of makes sense. Uh, and the next guess is four, and then we have five. Uh, well, on to the next one. Uh, for 11, the answer to this is four or three. I am not sure, I'll look at the answer. The answer is four. Okay, so for 11, if we take a look, it actually gets it right. Huh, okay. And um, if you take a look at 12. Ooh. So for number 12, the answer is, um, oh, so this is three, two, one, two, one, zero, and this is one, zero, zero, negative one. My guess would be like negative one or something, but how do you represent negative one in something like this? So I'm just going to look at the answer, and the answer is eight. Eight. So I guess we cannot go negative. So this, I would expect it to miss. And it does miss it, but the next guess is eight, so that's pretty close. Uh, and it gets seven, which is very reasonable. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, so as you can see, it does kind of work, get some of them right and some of them are very wrong. But uh, I would put the code in GitHub and thanks for watching.